If you get frustrated in Mac OS, constantly resizing windows, moving them around, trying to get your workspace just right, I might have just the application for you. It's under $10, you can learn it in minutes, and Hookshot is an application that's gonna massively boost your productivity. In Mac OS, we're used to the conventions of having a bunch of floating windows, and we either resize them um, to fit in the space that's there, or we rely on this sort of Z-index of stacked windows that we shuffle in and out, use Alt and Tab and that sort of thing to bring different applications to the fore, minimizing to the dot, bringing them back, all that kind of stuff. By default, that's a pretty frustrating and tedious affair. You're having to grab the corner of windows to resize them, click in the title bar to move them around. Um, it's just pretty inefficient. Sometimes I'm not even that bothered about what size and position the windows are in. I just want to be able to see the three or four applications I'm working on at any given time so that I can easily jump across to each or see a little bit of information in one window whilst I move it across into another. Mac OS has a concept of panes, so you can do that dance where you click and hold the little green button at the top corner of your window. That will move it to one side, do the same on another application, do it on the other. And that generally works quite well and you can shift that stitch between the two applications so that you can you can change how much space each gets but that will only work for two windows and more often than not I need three sometimes I need four it's also pretty frustrating when you want to come out of that paned window mode because you've got to click at the icon at the top left of each of the windows by default one of them will then go into full screen and you then need to pull it out of that it's not without its merits but it can be pretty frustrating spaces as well which I think is probably really good if you're used to working on a, a laptop screen and it certainly gets around some of the problems being able to quickly sh context shift if you're the sort of person that's organized enough to have different spaces for different types of work that you know so you might have one space reserved for design work another space reserved for your spreadsheets one for your communications unfortunately I'm not that organized I'm a little bit more haphazard and I needed some kind of way of just being able to shift the windows that I was interested in into parts of the screen that were useful to me. So I have always found spaces a pretty frustrating and tedious affair, especially when you have to do everything pretty much with the mouse. There's not a, a set of shortcuts that you can use to move stuff around. Now, window management is arguably one area where Linux is light years ahead of Mac OS. They've got a bunch of different tiling window managers that you can use on your distribution to stick stuff in a kind of like a 2D grid, you know, where you get to open a new application and send it to some portion of that grid. And to be fair, these sort of tiling managers for Linux and the like are good to a degree, but there's also situations where they're not great either. What I've arrived at, which is in some ways a compromise, but I think the best thing available at the minute is an application called Hookshot. And I've used a few of these over the years I've used Divi, um, I've used a couple of others, and I know there's an application called Magnet that a lot of people say is good, but there's a couple of things that are unique to Hookshot, which I think set it aside from the crowd. Hookshot has got mouse users and keyboard users absolutely covered. If you're a mouse user, you can just hold down two keys, and you'll get a little sort of disk icon on the, the desktop, and you can basically just click and wang. Huh? whatever window you want into whatever sort of space that you want to see, you get this kind of overlay effect and you just drag it to the section of the screen you want to see it. You can even move it across to a different display if you've got another display attached. Now, I don't tend to use the, the mouse side of things too much. I prefer using the, the keyboard shortcuts. And again, it's very straightforward. There is sensible defaults for a vast array of different positions on your screen or screens. Um, but what's excellent about Hookshot is that it also lets you define custom spaces for your windows. So yeah, Hookshot will let you do thirds, it'll let you do halves, it'll let you do quarters, it'll let you do two thirds grids. Now interestingly enough, there is a, a free sibling to Hookshot called Rectangle. And if you're not worried about the custom sizes and that sort of stuff, go and get yourself Rectangle. It doesn't cost a bean and it does sort of 90% of what Hookshot can do for you but without the mouse side of things. So again, if you need the mouse stuff, you're gonna to want to spend the money and get hookshot. Another massive selling point for me, you'll see from the, the footage that I've got here of my desktop, T2 
typically when I'm recording something for YouTube or for one of my video courses, I want a 16 to 9 window, but in this case the, the screen resolution I have typically on this 4K monitor is about 3000, 3090-ish by about 1700, which is more than enough pixels to get me a 16 by 9 window up at the top corner. So what I wanted to do is move a couple of windows up into an area that I could record a 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080 and then still have another window of something off to the side with notes in, that sort of stuff. Um, not that I ever use notes to record videos. Not that I ever use notes. The part about Hookshot is that, again, you can define a custom window area. You can decide whereabouts that starts and ends on the page. And then all you need to do is, with either a gesture or your keyboard shortcut, you can put the windows in position and you're ready to go. One final little nugget that you get with Hookshot that I think is great is that by default you can, there's a command which will show you the top four applications that you've got in a 2x2 two two grid or a 3x2 grid. You can do all sorts of other stuff, you can put borders around them, you can have a central window with a space around that, it just near endless amounts of customization. I realise at this point I'm starting to sound like Tom Cruise at a Scientology convention. So I'm going to stop going on about this application for now. But again, very cheap, easy to learn, and it's going to make a massive difference to your day-to-day -day working if you're the, the sort of person that deals with two, three, four applications all at once day-to-day. -day. This is a great little app. It's a universal binary, so it works well on the M1 Max. There's a free 10-day trial. I definitely recommend you give it a go.